Earlier this month, Harvard University humor magazine, the Harvard Lampoon, sent movie star John Wayne a letter. In part, it said, you're not so tough. The halls of academia may not be the halls of Montezuma. And maybe Ivy doesn't smell like sagebrush, but we know a thing or two about guts. And then the lampoon challenged conservative Wayne to come to Harvard, which it described as the most intellectual, the most traditionally radical, in short, the most hostile territory on earth. Well, Wayne accepted the challenge, and David Culhane reports. Even at Harvard University, people go crazy when a real old movie star shows up. Duke John Wayne was mobbed in Cambridge, Massachusetts today. The band played as Wayne rode into town on the top of an armored personnel carrier supplied by sympathizers in the United States Army Reserves. But the hostilities began with a few well-placed collegiate snowballs. Wayne took his lumps like a real he-man. Even in this center of liberalism, conservative Wayne was met by a crowd of thousands who only wanted to touch him. Police and soldiers had to convoy him into a Harvard Square theater to face a roasting from the Lampoon staff. like John Wayne, agree to such a verbal pummeling from these whippersnappers. Well, his latest film was premiered here today. Maybe that had something to do with it. David Culhane, CBS News, Cambridge. One other question asked of Wayne was whether President Nixon planned to make a movie about himself. Wayne replied, he's a good enough actor. And that's the way it is. Tuesday, January 15th, 1974. This is Walter Cronkite, CBS News. Good night.